Item Number SCP-3188 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-3188 is flagged for the following heightened containment protocols. Potential CK-class reality restructuring catalyst. Infohazardous phenomenon related to one or more members of Overwatch Command. Knowledge of the existence of SCP-3188 is restricted to personnel holding Level 5 security clearance and others who have been approved directly by a vote of Overwatch Command. All currently serving personnel formerly assigned to Project Trailhead are restricted from participating in any activities of ancillary importance to the containment of SCP-3188. The full account of SCP-3188 has been subject to informational fragmentation. Database restrictions have been enacted to ensure that no individual receives more than approximately 15% of the relevant details of SCP-3188. Specified sections of the account of SCP-3188 have been keyed for access only to specific members of Overwatch Command. The records of Project Trailhead have been expunged. Senior staff associated with the project have been retired, and memories of remaining staff deemed to be critical to ongoing Foundation operations have been altered to remove knowledge of the project. Previous directives ordering research into waveform collapse alteration have been countermanded. No information concerning Project Trailhead or the possibility of waveform collapse alteration is to be made available outside of Overwatch Command. Extant information on SCP-3188 is to be maintained solely as deemed necessary for the safety of remaining members of Overwatch Command. Further research into SCP-3188, especially attempts to establish a responsible party for SCP-3188 or otherwise impose overarching interpretations on the events thereof, is forbidden. Description SCP-3188 is the murder of O5-9, occurring on April 27, 2018. Emergency information protocols have revealed to the entirety of Overwatch Command that O5-9 was Helmut Roth, a former regional director of the Deutsche Bundesbank and an influential international financier controlling assets valued at approximately $25.8 billion at the time of his death. The following account of SCP-3188 has been approved for dissemination to cleared personnel in accordance with Infohazard security protocols. O5-9 was found dead by Austrian authorities on the morning of April 27, 2018, in the dining room of his residence in Vienna. Detectives are certain that a crime was committed. Addendum 3188.1 Project Trailhead as part of standard post-mortem procedures for a member of Overwatch Command, Foundation personnel were granted access to the entirety of O5-9's records upon the verification of his death. As part of this review process, researchers learned of the existence of Project Trailhead, an extensive program utilizing a small number of high-level Foundation personnel and a series of outside parties under established blind contracting procedures. The purpose of Trailhead appears to have been to design a sophisticated personal defense system for O5-9, utilizing research. Footnote 1. This research consisted in part of unauthorized testing and deployment of several SCP-listed anomalous objects and phenomena. Into the nature of quantum decoherence and the possibility of establishing passive control over the wave function affecting a specified number of pointer states in observed reality, Project Trailhead ultimately established a limited degree of control around O5-9's place in this established plane of existence. O5-9 and the Foundation personnel overseeing Trailhead came to believe that the project was successful, establishing a state in the universal wave function in which O5-9 would only die as the result of a naturally occurring, age-related illness. This was seen as a bulwark against the possibility of violent death or grievous incapacitation on the part of O5-9. Researchers appear to have been preparing to reveal the existence of Trailhead to the rest of Overwatch Command at the time of O5-9's death, and evidence exists that the project was intended as a test case to be implemented for other Foundation personnel deemed to be indispensable. 
Researchers' confidence in the success of Trailhead was such that O5-9 tested its efficacy by ordering a contractor to fire a loaded 9mm handgun at his head. Despite being inspected beforehand by armory staff, the gun misfired, failing to discharge after numerous attempts by the contractor. This process was repeated for five different handguns, supplied from numerous Foundation sites, each failing to discharge in each instance. Nonetheless, O5-9 was documented to have died violently on April 27, 2018. Why Trailhead apparently failed at that date is unknown. SCP-3188 Information Fragment C-241 Viewing approved only for O5-11 Austrian authorities, in cooperation with Interpol, the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Ministry of Public Security of the People's Republic of China, identified 15 individuals with established motives to harm O5-9, primarily deriving from competing business interests or counteraction of his influence in the affairs of powerful interests. In all cases, these individuals were established to have been elsewhere during the feasible time of O5-9's death. None of these individuals were within 500 kilometers of Vienna during the murder. SCP-3188 Information Fragment F-047 Viewing approved only for O5-2 O5-9 was in his dining room at the time of his murder. No defensive wounds were present on the body, and no signs of forced entry were present. This is indicative that his attacker was known to him. SCP-3188 Information Fragment B-148 Viewing approved only for O5-7 Multiple incidents of extraordinary phenomena were reported in the five hours before and after the murder of O5-9. Several accounts of, quote, missing time within a five-kilometer radius of the residence of O5-9 were allowed to remain in fringe media outlets. Other incidents, which included three missing persons reports in which individuals apparently vanished, television programs spontaneously switching to an indecipherable language, and reports of a comet visible in the daytime sky were suppressed by local Foundation assets. SCP-3188 Information Fragment E-147 Viewing approved only for O5-13 O5-9 was shot two times in the head with a 32 caliber weapon, suspected to be a handgun. Biometric Evaluation Denied Biometric Evaluation Approved Access Granted SCP-3188 Information Fragment A-003 Viewing Approved Only for O5-1 Trailhead is believed to have affected a different set of pointer conditions than intended. Rather than ensuring that O5-9 would only die from a natural illness, the project instead ensured that O5-9 would meet a specific demise involving a gunshot to the head. The failure of the project in establishing the proper pointer conditions for O5-9 has led to complicating factors. Because of the lack of planning for the event that ultimately befell O5-9, the current universe in which O5-9 has been murdered is inherently unstable at the point of his demise. The establishment of sure knowledge of the case of his death, along with inevitable courses of action to which that knowledge would lead, would lead to unpredictable forms of waveform collapse, occurring outside of the bounds of currently understood quantum physics. The knowledge of who is responsible for O5-9's death is information that is potentially catastrophic to the universe as we know it. The nature of this informational process prevents me from making a formal recommendation through official channels, but it is imperative that you delete this file and suppress any remaining evidence of the circumstances of O5-9's death. SCP-3188 Information Fragment D-214 Viewing approved only for O5-4 Cameras outside the residence of O5-9 recorded an individual successfully disengaging the front door security system. Security records indicate that this individual had access to that hour's correct access code. 
the individual wore concealing clothing and a face mask. Biometric analysis of the security footage indicates an individual between 176 and 182 centimeters in height and approximately 72 to 74 kilograms in weight, most likely male. SCP-3188 Information Fragment E-104 Viewing approved only for O5-8 Foundation Site 45 in Salzburg, Austria upgraded its security alert status to Level 4 on April 26, 2018. Heightened security protocols were in effect until April 28, 2018. No official reasoning is given in Site 45 records. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.